Last question, guys. We're going to keep it really light now. We all met at our local manufacturing association, which is the TMA right here in Schaumburg, Illinois. None of us knew each other. However, we bonded by the industry. It's been one of the most impactful things that I've done in the last 10 years. My question is to you, let's talk about how the time that we gave to that association and how we think it benefited us. I mean, obviously, by participating and giving our time in that association, we met each other. We had this great bonding. But what did you learn from that experience? And would it be something that you would do again? I learned you better be part of an association of people that do what you do. I started with my father, April of 2004. And I don't think I was there for one week. He goes, you're going to get on as many committees as they will. Oh, allow is that right? You. Yep. So your dad was the one that was pushing you into networking. And, and he was a big, he, he joined TMA, I want to say back in the 60s when his father was still part of the company. Wow. But he, his father passed away in 1973 when he was 27 years old. So he had to do it all on his own. Your grandpa passed when he, your dad was 27 Correct. Years. Wow. So wow. he'll tell you, he, he owes everything to TMA. He owes everything to to the association. And I seen Aaron nodding his head, and he and I have always been in agreement on that. Yeah, my father made sure I was part of TMA right away, and I joined marketing committee. I joined finance committee. Then that led to young leaders committee, led to the board, and then the executive committee with with the group that we're talking to today. It's not so much that you you go to these meetings, you go to these gatherings, seeking information and seeking knowledge, but it just happens. A lot of the things that we still do on our floor or strategies that I've implemented with our with our company has so much to do with just being around you guys and being around the people that we've met throughout the year. So we never look at our due statement, never have, never will. We just know the value that being around the people that are in the same trench that we're in has extremely or it just has great value for uh, running our business. Well, the reason I'm asking this question is because, listen, there's a lot of people out there right now that are listening to this show. There's probably a lot of emerging leaders that are listening, younger people that are starting their shop, that job shop in Tulsa, Oklahoma, or, or in Canada, or whatever whatever it is. And they're probably searching, right? They don't know where to go to connect with other like-minded people. And I think it's important for us to share our experiences by joining that association and learning what we did and creating this bond and creating this the synergy amongst us where we can we can have a glass of wine we can say oh my god what you know what the fuck happened the other day you know that's really really impactful so Aaron what are you what are you thinking well i get a little emotional when i when i think about the association of TMA the friendships i've acquired and and the bond that that we have sitting at this table today yeah i get it our company has been involved with the TMA for nearly 80 years. That's a long time. My father was uh, chairman of the board in 1991, served with Brian's father. All of us sitting here today all served as chairman of the board, which I will tell you firsthand and, and seeing everybody at this table go through it all, that it is an incredible time commitment and sacrifice of your business and of your family in order to make that association successful, but it was worth, I think I could speak on behalf of all of us, every second of our time. Why do I say that? Because Why do you it, say that? It is a big... I don't know about every second, but we had some moments where we were like, what the hell are we doing here? And I'm right? so glad we went through it. Yes. It made us better people. It made us... It, I think the, the, those hardships that we had to put up with made us better business people. That's it. That was my whole point I was yes. going to drive home, Jim, is... You know, we're all sitting here, you know, and we're all highly educated people. I have a degree in engineering from Northern Illinois. I don't. But the I'm last sorry. thing that I checked was I didn't have, I didn't take a course in leadership. I didn't take a course in business management and, and, and so, so on and so forth. My courses in that was with my peers, joining these different organizations, joining these different boards and listening to everybody's thought process and bouncing things up, up and down. And it motivated me to be joining other organizations, joining other boards. But at the same time, I always say about these types of people that I meet and the boards that I join, you are my unofficial board of directors. Yes. That's the way I see it. I can bounce ideas freely off everybody. And I think that every problem that I come across, somebody solved it along the way. You just have to find the person that to tell you what it is, and you will find it in these organizations. To me, I owe a lot of the legal success 
from my family, but also from organizations and most normally the TMA and the peers that I've, that I've met and, and especially the peers that I'm sitting at the table today is one of the most influential parts of my career. I've been with the company for 22 years, been present for 12, but I certainly would not have the, the wherewithal, the success or the business sense to be able to make decisions I made today without having my peers around me and encouraging me and, and, and learning things. Because I could, I could sit here and tell, look at all three and, and tell you individually what you've taught me in my career. And I can say that with a lot of other people I met throughout my career in these organizations that are the best of the best. So I strongly encourage everybody to join these organizations, get involved in your associations. It's not, it's not a matter of, you know, do you have the time or are you giving away trade secrets or are you afraid of, of sharing things within your business from a competition standpoint? No way, no how. Um, if you feel that way, then, then I, I feel bad for you because it's not the way it is. And if you have a rogue person on the board that does that, you know, then, then they'll be easily weeded out. But from my personal experience, being serving on boards, I mean, 15 out of my 22-year career, um, I've never come across that. So it's one of the most beneficial things I've ever done in my career here, uh, you know, serving on, on the board. And I was very proud to do it. And I look forward to serving on more boards in the future. Thanks, Aaron. Fernando, take us out, man. If you don't know people or you don't have anyone you can confide in, you're all alone in this world. And that's the worst place to be. Totally. But when we can get together and we can talk and we can discuss uh, the good, the bad, and the, and the ugly and come out with a solution because your peers are, are there for you and you have people that are like-minded that know what's going on uh, in the industry that you can toss things around and they'll tell you, hey, you're wrong and this is why you're wrong. These are the people that are molding you, uh, building your character and building who you are at your corporation. They're developing your leadership. So for me, uh, and you know, how I feel about church. For me, the, it was that was going to church, and we were able to put it together. And by God's grace, boy, did we did we make it? And boy, the organization is successful, and I'm happy to see it. And and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Great, thanks, Fernando. I agree with all what you say, all three of you. It's been a great experience for me as well. It was a lot of it was a time commitment for me. Um, you know, I'm, I have a smaller business. I'm very uh, involved in the day to day, and it took a lot of my time to participate in all those activities. But I have to admit, at the end of the day, it was well worth the effort. Especially the board retreats; those were the best part of the. <laughs> <laughs> Those Napa board retreats were awesome. But at the end of the day, it was well worth the time. And I recommend anybody that is thinking about participating to seek one out. See if you vibe with the people on that particular board. Because if the vibe isn't good and you're not feeling it, I wouldn't recommend it. You'll know right away once you meet those people if there's a good synergy going on, right? If the only thing I got out of it was being able to sit down and be able to call you guys my friends. Uh, that was 100% worth it. Thanks. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you uh, being on the show. If you like the content you're hearing, subscribe to the show, and I'd love for you to review it, too. If you have any questions or you have any comments or future episodes you'd like me to talk about, just email me at jim at mytrueposition.com. Remember this mantra, a wise man once told me repeatedly, Jimmy, just push yourself. And I did. And I still do. And I encourage all of you to push yourself too, especially if you'd like to create a better life for yourself. Thank you for listening today. And I trust this small piece of information has made you think differently about your business. Keep pushing on, friends. 